Hey everyone, today I want to take a look at Permablend pigment line. Um, Permablend is a fairly new permanent cosmetic pigment line, but um, the company that manufactures it is World Famous Tattoo, and they have been in the business for many, many years. They definitely produce good products, um, and so it's a very well-trusted company, um, and they finally put out a permanent cosmetic line, and I've heard nothing but great reviews from it. So um, I was at the SPCP convention in Vegas this weekend, and the Permablend company was there. Uh, Lou Rubino, who is the owner of World Famous Tattoo, he was there. Um, and I got to hang out and talk and, and learn a little bit about the pigments. And uh, so I decided to pick some up and try them out. I, this is not the entire line. Uh, so I only have 10 colors here. Um, over here, this is the warm side. Um, there are 11 colors in total uh, in the warm line, and these are five of them. Um, on this side over here is the cool line. There are seven colors in that line, and again, I only have five of them here. So um, I definitely want to take these out, smear them on some paper, see what the undertones look like, and uh, learn a little bit more about this, this pigment company. All right, so first I want to take a look at the warm colors. And so um, this is espresso. The first thing that you're going to notice about these is that they're formulated much more like regular tattoo pigments. Um, so they're a lot more watery than what we're used to in permanent cosmetics, which I actually prefer. I like a, a more watery pigment. And so you'll see right away, um, it's very, very liquidy. Um, it doesn't have that thickness that most of the permanent cosmetics um, have. All right, so espresso is listed as a dark value brown with a red base, and it is good for Fitzpatrick's four and five. So this is definitely a darker, um, you know, darker brunette could be used with uh, darker skin tones. And as you see, as I dilute that on the page, the full saturation color, the full intensity of the color is actually quite dark. But um, as I pull it out and dilute it a little bit, you can definitely see that there's a warm undertone here. And it's actually quite beautiful diluted. It's really important to have a warm base with your with your darker skin ladies because the darker our skin gets, the cooler the skin is. And so you definitely want to use something with a nice warm base and so that espresso has it and that's wonderful. This next color here is brunette. Brunette is listed as a dark value brown with a red and yellow base and it is also good for Fitzpatrick 4 and 5. Sometimes when you have a skin tone that's so dark um, it could be very very cool and we consider coolness in the skin to be blue. So when you have um, someone with very, very, very cool tones, um, they're going to pull very blue. So to use a, a very red base in the skin is, of course, not good because what happens when we mix red and blue, we get purple. So that golden base in here, that yellow that this is mixed with, is really going to help prevent that. Right? It's going to give us a nice warm brown without being purple because we have the yellow to counteract that purple and that's exactly what you see here the full intensity of that color is a nice rich dark brown I really like that um, but you can see as I dilute it out that it's definitely got a nice warm golden base this is a really great color all right the next one that I have is called Tina's gold sunrise this one is listed as a light value brown with a yellow base, good for Fitzpatrick's one and two. So even though our skin gets cooler as it gets darker, you can be quite cool as a, especially as a Fitzpatrick one. So you definitely want to make sure that your colors have um, enough warmth and enough gold to prevent that purple from happening. So so far this one looks like a really lovely light light brown or. Uh, dark brunette or dark blonde sorry and as I pull that out you can see the full saturation of the color here is just a really nice light golden brown and as I um, dilute it you can definitely see a strong yellow base very nice the next color is burnt sienna this color is listed as a mid-value brown with an orange base and it is recommended for Fitzpatrick 3.
So very similar to Tina's Gold Sunrise. Definitely a little darker, a little more um, milk chocolate. The full saturation of the color is definitely a, a real milk chocolatey look. And diluted. Diluted, it is uh, true to its description. It's got a, a strong orange base. I can definitely see using this in a Fitzpatrick 3. Um, the nice golden base. The orange base is going to give you enough warmth without, without being overwhelming and still having a little bit of yellow in it. So that it's definitely a great uh, color in the warm lineup. And next up I have tan. This looks like it's going to be a really nice blonde. So right off the bat, it's kind of a mustardy color. It's listed as a light value brown with a yellow orange base and recommended for Fitzpatrick's one and two. So yeah, definitely something for your light blondes here. Nice and golden. Nice orange base. So these are all five colors that I have for the warm line. Um, and we're going to let these dry because they definitely look different once they're dry. So let's give these a chance to dry and we'll take a look at the cool line. So first in the cool lineup, I have Fudge. This is listed as a dark value brown with a yellow base and good for Fitzpatrick 4. So like I mentioned before, you wouldn't, you know, as we start getting darker in the skin tones, you definitely want to have some warmth in there. Um, and so I wouldn't go to a Fitz 5 if they're, they're probably too cool for this color. This is a really nice chocolatey brown. I like this color a lot. The diluted version here is gorgeous for powdered brow. The full, um, the full saturation color is really nice too. Very rich. Next color up is walnut. Walnut is listed as a dark value brown with a yellow base and recommended for Fitzpatrick too. So sometimes we get these ladies in that who are fairly pale, you know, they've got very fair, fair pale skin, um, but they have dark eyes, dark hair, um, and most likely dark eyebrows. And so you definitely want to have something that suits those ladies. Um, the full saturation of this color is very rich without being too warm and the diluted um, looks like it would make a great powder, a nice soft brown for a powdered, lighter colored skin person. Next color up is Mallard. This is one of the colors that I've been hearing so much about. Everyone's raving about this color. Um, I hear that they frequently sell out online and you have to wait for the back order. So I'm really, I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like. It is listed as a mid to dark value brown with a yellow base and good for Fitzpatrick's two and three. I feel like anything that suits a Fitz two and three is a really good overall brown. Definitely an ashy tone going here. But you can see Definitely an ashy tone going here in the full saturation of the color, but once I dilute it a bit, you can definitely see that golden base. So you'll still be able to get a good result with this color without being too warm. Next color that I have is taupe. This one is listed as a mid-value brown with a yellow base and good for Fitzpatrick's twos and threes. So definitely this one starts off um, much lighter, but yet still uh, a little muted in the color, a little ashy um, compared to our, our warm line, um, but definitely much lighter than the Mallard. So really pretty, really pretty brown here. That can be used on light brunettes, dark, dark blondes. The next color here is Forest Brown. This is another one that I've been hearing so many amazing things about. Everybody loves this color. 
And so let's take a look at it. So right from the start, it's a really rich dark brown. I really like this. It's listed as a mid to dark value brown with yellow base and good for Fitzpatrick 4. This is a really gorgeous color. I definitely feel like this is a good all around uh, deep brunette. I can definitely see why this is such a popular color. All right, so let's let that dry a little bit and let's get back to our, our warm colors. So just right off the bat, you can see that this side is the warmer colors. They definitely have a lot of warmth, meaning uh, reds and oranges. They, you can also see that there's um, a good deal of yellow in these colors. This side over here is the cool side. Um, no warmth in the color, but definitely uh, some yellow golden bases here, which is so important in our, in our pigment lines. Very clear distinction between the warms and the cools. So that's it. That's the Perma Blend color line. So I just want to give a big shout out to Lou Rubino from World Famous Tattoo and Terry Lively, uh, one of his distributors from CosmeticTattooSupply.com. So you can buy these perma blends um, at Cosmetic Tattoo Supply or straight from WorldFamousTattooSupply.com. I'll post the link below. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And um, I look forward to working with these pigments. I'll be posting uh, immediately after and healed results pretty soon.